Firstly, let me apologize for any uh, lack of momentum you see with me. Uh, it's solely responsible to Anurag because he is given, every time I meet him, he gives some idea which confuses me. This time it was an eight hour uh, sleep thing. I don't sleep eight hours. Uh, slowly, it's, the number of hours are increasing as, as Densu is doing better and better. <laughs> but it's certainly not eight hours, but I take the thing. Secondly, I would say, Anurag, you've done very well to put the pressure back on me and saying all the numbers are going, going to come by me. But, but guess what? My team has said, Harsh, don't speak beyond a point. Because, because we will do a better presentation than you, than you. Just speak this much and stop. Uh, you know, so that's what I've been told. But a big welcome and uh, thank you for everyone here in the audience. And Anurag, Nawal, thank you for partnering us in this uh, wonderful report that we have released. Uh, uh, the eighth, uh, uh, I would say, edition of this report, uh, many years back, I believe that people didn't believe this report will make sense. Uh, and there were questions asked about whether this report will ever uh, continue for more than a year or two. I must say that people outside the industry, I think I know more people outside the industry than within the industry still, after nine months of being here. Everyone still looks at this report as the Bible, I would say. Like really. This is not a report in my view, it's almost like a Bible. People look at the current and people want to gaze at the future very very, very clearly. And this report does a wonderful job of that. Uh, if you look at Densu, uh, and I'd like to sort of tell you why this report sort of and the partnership with E4M has made sense uh, for us this year. We've always been in the thick of digital. And as we've looked at honing in our positioning for India, we've been talking about us being a tech and marketing consultancy. That's the way we are positioning ourselves. So any uh, issue, any, any challenge, any question raised on the area of marketing, business or tech, people should come to us to talk to us about. And while we position ourselves in this space, they are very clearly two big levers our uh, global uh, vision of positioning talks about. Uh, one big lever is about us being a, a people-centered transformation company. What this means is, uh, as an agency, we do understand our people better, we understand our consumers better, we understand our clients' consumers better, and we want to be a part of the journeys, or the changing journeys which each of our clients or employees go through, uh, with more and more digital and AI coming in. The second pillar that we talk about is, again, very close to my heart, uh, around us being a B to B to S firm, uh, business to business to society company. We want to work more and more for society, do the right things for society, and if it means there are projects or programs that we can do, we will bend our back to do those projects even better and better. Over the last uh, eight or nine months, we've tried to bring this vision to life. And there have been four uh, streams that we've looked at. Uh, the first stream has been extreme client obsession. Uh, work around the client, everything else is secondary. The second theme is around AI. And we believe that uh, AI will be the big thing that will change the dynamics of the industry and for us a Densu uh, as we go forward. Third, sustainability. And fourth, innovation and creativity. I must say that the report and the way sort of it's been constructed, it, ha it has involved AI, on to your point, it's not been written uh, by us, but we've used AI to write the report. But not only that, I think the way, uh, uh, way this report has been coming out and it talks about how AI is impacting media is at the core of Densu's heart and the way we're trying to position ourselves as a company. Uh, as we look at the report being unveiled to all of you, uh, it does show a healthy growth this year of uh, the, the ADEX moving up to 110,000 plus crores, uh, with digital being a strong number one. Uh, I'll, I'll have Abhik Biswas uh, come and talk about this. He's our EVP for Consumer Insights. But before that, a big thank you to all of you here. Uh, I genuinely believe that this report is for all of us. Uh, it's not for Densu or E4M only. It's for us to try and collaborate gaze the future and try and see what sense we can make for it. So thanks once again for the partnership, uh, the E4M team, Anurag, Michelle, Nawal, and everyone who's come in here today to celebrate the day with us. Uh, welcome, Abhik, and thank you so much.